Out of all the countries that have adapted Pokemon into their native language, none have captivated my interest as much as German Pokemon, more specifically the names of all these pocket monsters. As a kid, I would jam to the German version of the Pokerap and try to keep up with all the creative names they came up with. Since I'm so fascinated with all these names, I figured why not cover the etymology of the German names the same way I did for the Japanese names. Although I don't know much about German, ugh, I'll be honest, all I know in German is a few naughty words, so with my limited knowledge, doing this video solo is out of the question. So for the rest of this series, we'll have a friend of mine helping me with all these names. She's a talented artist who has illustrated all 151 Pokemon from the Kanto region and has also continued to the Johto region on her Instagram. May I introduce to you fellow YouTuber, Donata! Thank you, Otta, for asking me to do this video series with you. I'm very excited to be a guest on your amazing channel and talk about the Pokemon names that have accompanied me since childhood. Although, or rather because I grew up with the German names, I never really thought about their etymology. Many of these names are intuitively understandable if you speak German, but others have very surprising origins, so it has been interesting to learn more about them. For my research, I mostly used PokeWiki, which is a German web encyclopedia for Pokemon, similar to the English Bulbapedia. Now I hope all of you are as excited as I was to learn about the German Pokemon names. That's awesome! Yo, let me be the first to say how excited I am to learn all these names. So, with all the introductions out of the way, let's begin! <laughs> Starting off with our cute and cuddly Vegisaurus, Bulbasaur, we have an interesting name in the form of Bizazam. This name comes from the Latin prefix B, referring to its duality of being both plant and animal. The za most likely derives from saw, as in dinosaur. And the final part is from same, which is the German word for seed. Altogether, you get bizazam. Next up, we have bizazam's evolved form, bizaknosp. The biza part is the same as with bizazam, but with a new ending, knosp. Knasp. That makes me think of elemental hero Knaspe from Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, the walking talking bud man. Funny you should mention that, because Knospe does mean bud in German. That's great, and very fitting too. The suffix changes from a seed to a bud to imply the growth of the bulb on Bizoknos back. That's right, and in the next stage it will change once more. Venusaur is Bizaflor which changes the ending from knosp, meaning bud, to flor, meaning flower in Latin. That's really cool that the names reflect the growth of the bulb from seed to bud to flower. This is the perfect name for these three Pokemon and really ties in with the game's evolution mechanic. Absolutely. And while the last parts of the names are pretty self-explanatory to a German speaker, I never knew the meaning of the Bisa part until now. Next up we have Charmander, who is known as Glumanda. Glumanda is a combination of glu from German glut, meaning ember, and manda from salamanda, which has the same meaning as in English. Glumanda's evolved form is known as glutexo. Glutexo also contains glut, meaning ember, and the exo is a bit tricky, but it could be a combination of exe, meaning lizard, and dino, meaning dinosaur. Rounding off the Zard family, or should I say the glue family, we have glue rock. You probably can tell that the glue derives from ember, and the final part, rack, most likely comes from draco, the Latin word for dragon. Poor Glurok, even though he's named after a dragon, he didn't become a dragon type till his Mega X evolution in X and Y. Yeah, poor Glurok is named after a dragon but isn't a dragon type. Next up we have Squirtle. Or as it's known in Germany, Shiggy. The first part of this name comes from Schildkröte, which is the German word for turtle. Where does the second part come from? The G doesn't really carry any meaning. It just makes it sound cuter. Well, it's definitely working because Shiggy is probably one of the cutest names I've ever heard. Or turtle goes by Shulok in German. 
The first part of Schillock comes from Schildkröte again. And Lock is from the German word Locke, meaning curl, because of its curly tail. And for our final Pokemon today, Blastoise is Turtok. Turtok comes from the English word turtle, and the Ock may come from Lock, as in Lock On. Cause Turtok can lock on to target with its shell cannon. <laughs> Caterpie goes by Raupi in German. Raupi comes from Raupe, which is the German word for caterpillar. And the ending E makes it sound cute. Donata, what's your opinion on Caterpie? Is it cute or creepy? Definitely cute for me. I love Bug-type Pokemon and have always been a fan of Caterpie's adorable design. Hey, I agree. I think Caterpie is pretty cute too. But what do you all think? Is Raupi cute or creepy? Leave a comment below and tell us your answer. Moving on to the next Pokemon, we have Zafcon. The first part, Zaf, most likely comes from the English word safe. And the con part is from the German word Kokon, meaning cocoon. Altogether, you get Zafcon, not to be confused with safety cone. Although Zafcon's shiny form is the same color as one. Butterfree is known as Smetbo, which is one of my favorite German names. So that's why Smetbo is on the thumbnail of today's video. Yes, I couldn't help myself. The Smet is from the German word Schmetterling, which means butterfly. And the Bo could be from German Böe, meaning squall. On to the next batch of bugs, we have Hornliu. Hornliu is a combo of horn. And the Liu makes it sound cuter, which seems to be a recurring theme with these German names. Yeah, that's right. We saw this with Shigi, Raupi, and now Honyu. Honyu's evolved form, Kokuna, is from the word cocoon with an A attached to the end. So it's the German equivalent of its English name. That's right. And the same is true for its evolved form, Bibor. The B derives from Biene, meaning bee, and the Bor from Bohrer, the word for a drill or from bohren, meaning to drill. Ooh, by the way, I came up with a great nickname for Bibor. What is it? Justin. Why Justin? Because Justin Bibor. <laughs> Next up, we have Pidgey. Also known as Taubsi. Taub is from the German Taube, meaning pigeon. And would you like to guess what the C means, Otter? Hmm. The Spanish word for yes? Not quite. The C is, once again, to make it sound cute. I should have known. Our next Pokemon is Tauboga. And I gotta say, this is up there with Shiggy and Smetbo as most enjoyable names for me to say. The first part of Tauboga is from Taube again. And Boga is from the German word Bogen, meaning arc. Its evolved form Pidget is known as Taubos. This name once again uses the Tau for the first part. And the Boss part is simply from the word Boss. Moving from the Poke Pigeons to the Poke Rats, we have Ratzfratz. You know what? That's actually pretty fun to say too. Ratzfratz. Rat is from Ratte, meaning rat. And Fratz is a colloquial German word for a small and cute child. But it can also be used for animals. The German name makes me think of its Japanese name, which combines the word for rat and small with korata. That's true! In both of those languages, ratata is just a rat pup. But in English, it has been given a more aggressive name. Radicate goes by Hratikarl over in Germany. This is a combination of Ratte, Rat, and Radikal, meaning extreme or drastic. It also contains the German male name Karl. How about this for a fun nickname? Red Karl! That's a funny idea. Spiro is known as Habitak. Habi is from German Habicht, meaning hawk. And Tak is from German Attacke, meaning attack. That's similar to Rattata's English name, which combines rat 
with attack. Our final Pokemon today is Firo, and in German is known as Ibitak. The Tak at the end of Ibitak is the same as we saw in Habitak. And Ibi is from the German word Ibis, a bird with a long curved beak. Hey, that's what we call it in English too. That makes it easier to remember. So all together you get Ibitak. Ekens, snake spelled backwards, is known as Retton in Germany. Rettan shares the exact same style of wordplay as it does in English. It comes from Natter, a species of snake. Spell it backwards and you get Rettan. Aalbok should be familiar to most of you. It's the same as its Japanese name as well as its English name. And of course, it comes from Cobra. But spelled backwards. And with a K at the end instead of a C, which is actually the right way to spell Cobra in German. The Pokemon who is the mascot of the series is... Pikachu! The same as in Japanese, English, Spanish, Italian... Basically the same as every other language. This name comes from Pika Pika, which is an onomatopoeia for sparkle. And two, the sound of a mouse squeaking. By the way, I'm curious, how would you translate Pikachu into German? Literally, it would be something like glitzer peep. A short version could be glitzy, but Pikachu definitely sounds better. And yes, this is how we pronounce it in German, Pikachu. Gesundheit. Raichu comes from Rai, thunder. And Chu means squeak. Sandan comes from Sand, meaning sand. And the An doesn't carry any specific meaning as far as I can tell. Sand Slash goes by Zandama, a combination of sand and armadillo. This name is also a pun, because it is pronounced almost the same as the phrase Sand am Meer, literally meaning sand at the ocean which is used to express that there's an overabundant quantity of something. That's cool! I love when they put a lot of thought into the names like that. The entire Nido family remains unchanged from Japanese and English. Nido means twice. Nido also sounds close to needle. And the ending Ron could come from runt. Nidorina and Nidorino are the same names, just with one having a feminine ending and the other having a masculine ending. And Nido Queen and Nido King are pretty much self-explanatory. Clefairy in German is Pipi, -pi, and this sounds similar to its Japanese name, Pipi. -pi. Just with a long vowel in the first syllable. I wonder why they made such a subtle change like that. The reason for this change was probably that Pipi -pi is the German word for P. Ah, yeah, well, um, that was a smart decision to change it, but unfortunately for Pee Pee, this name will invoke laughter regardless. Pee Pee could also derive from the German word Piepen, meaning to squeak or to cheep. If you're well versed in the Japanese names, then the next Pokemon's name should be quite familiar. That's right. Clefable's German name is Pixie. The same as its Japanese name. Vulpix's German name is another easy one to remember. In German, it's also called Vulpix. That comes from Vulpis, the Latin word for fox, and the number six. Put it together, Vulpix. Did you notice how similar Pixie and Vulpix sound in German? Yeah. It's funny because they are right next to each other in the Pokedex, but don't actually belong to the same evolution line. If you were just going through these names without knowing the Pokemon, you would probably think that Vulpix evolves from Pixie, which would be pretty funny. Ninetales is named Vulnona in German. Vul is from Latin Vulpes, fox again, and Nona is Latin for nine. It makes sense they didn't call this fiery fox Pokemon Ninetales in German, because German speakers might mistake nine for nine, the German word for no, and they might wonder why a Pokemon named No Tails has nine tails. Next on our list we have Pummelo. This is a combination of Pummel, meaning a chubby person, and Fluffig, meaning fluffy. Knudelof, 
is a combination of knuding to cuddle and fluffig, fluffy. Zubat and Golbat are unchanged. Zubatto means without hesitation, and Golbat is a ghoul and a bat smooshed together. Moving on to the next evolutionary family, we have Otis, or Mirapla. The Mi in Mirapla is from mysterious, meaning mysterious. Ra is from radieschen, meaning radish. And Pla is from English plant. A funny story, some years ago I met someone who thought Odish was not called Mirapla, but Mirablat. At first I just found it funny that for his whole life he had been getting that name wrong, but on second thought, Mirablat would actually be a more fitting German name for Odish. Because Blatt is the German word for leaf. And with Odish being the only one in the family that has leaves on its head, Mirablatt would describe it perfectly. Yeah, they should have named it that. What a missed opportunity. But that's okay, because Mirablatt is less than 10 characters long, so it can make for a perfect nickname. Just don't forget to change that nickname when it evolves. Otherwise, that would be odd. Next up, we have Duflor. This might be one of my favorite names, because it's very ironic. Duf is from German Duft, which means a pleasant smell. And Flor is from the Latin or Spanish word for flower. So, while in Japanese, Xaihana means stinky flower, in German they called it fragrant flower. Sounds like it gets a little more respect in Germany. Gieflor is from the German word Gift, poison or venom. Not to be confused with gift, the English word gift, because you probably don't want poison for a gift. And the same floor as before in Duflor. Paras and Parasek are almost the same as in Japanese and English. The name Paras is a shortening of parasite, or in German Parasit. And Parasect is parasite and insect. But without the T sound at the end for some reason. I wonder if that was a typo on the German translator's end could be. But seeing that they also changed the C into a K in German, maybe they just wanted to differ a little from the original name. By the way, you know how they say the fungus on the back takes over Paris's mind when it becomes Parasect? Yeah. Wouldn't it be creepier to name the first stage Parasect and the second stage Paris? In the first stage, the insect part is still in control. But after it evolves, and the mushroom consumes its body and mind, it loses the sect at the end, and just becomes Paris. Indicating that the parasite is in control now, and the insect is gone for good. That's an interesting idea. And I agree, it would make much more sense to switch their names. Lutzuk comes from blut, meaning blood, and zutzeln, which means to suck. All together, bloodsucker. This may be the creepiest name on our list so far, and we just got through talking about Parasect. The name does feel very fitting for this little bloodthirsty bug. Blutzuk does resemble a vampire with those fangs. Now on to Omot. Omot takes the ending of the English word venom and places it before the first part of the German word Motte, which means moth. Like its English name, it's made up of the word venom and moth. And interestingly, the English name actually contains the German name. Dicta is the same as it is in Japanese. And Dictri combines Dick and Dri, with Dri coming from the German word Drei, which means three. One of my favorite Pokemon, Meowth, has an adorable name in German. Mauzi is from Mauzen, meaning to meow. And the E is to make it sound cuter. It could also be a combo of Maltzen and a common cat name, Mietzi. When I first heard Meowth's German name was Mausi, I thought it was really funny because it sounds like Mousy, which would be an ironic name for a cat Pokemon. That would truly be a weird choice for a cat Pokemon's name. I'm sure Mausi would hate it to be nicknamed Mausi. Snobilicat is made up of three words. Snob. Nobilis, the Latin word for noble. And Katze, the German word for cat. 
all together, Snobilikat. Entern comes from the German word for duck, Enta. Not to be confused with the legendary beast Entei. Yeah, those two Pokemon are as polar opposite as they come. Entoron uses the Ente, or rather Enton again, but with Or squeezed in. Or being the French word for gold. So its German name means the same as its Japanese name and English name. Menki is the German spelling of its English name. Razaf is the German equivalent of its Japanese name, Okorizaru. Both names basically mean angry monkey. Razarai is the German word for rage and Affe means monkey. Fukano is a combo of Funke, spark, and Canis, Latin for dog. The Kino part could also come from the English word volcano. Akani sounds close to its English name, and this comes from Arcanum, secret, and Arcane, as in Arcane magic. And Canis is the same as in Fukano. Quapsel comes from German Kaulquappe, meaning tadpole, and the ending cell makes, makes it, it sound, sound cute. cute. Next up, we have one of my favorite Pokemon, Poliwhirl. Or as they call it in German, Quapuzzi. Quapuzzi has the same Quap we saw before, which comes from the German word for tadpole. And Putzig means cute, which, which makes, makes it, it sound, sound cute. cute. Quapuzzi is a vol form. Quapo is the same Quap we've seen before with the ending O. The O makes the name sound tougher. This makes sense, considering how Quapo is a fighting-type Pokémon. So, continuing the pattern of cute-sounding names wouldn't be very appropriate. Next up, we have Abra. Who in German is also Abra. That makes it easy to remember. Moving on to the next Pokémon, we have Kadabra. Who in German is also Kadabra. Oh, not much to say here either. The final evolution of this psychic family is Alakazam. Who in German is... Let me guess, let me guess. Alakazam? Nope. Nope? Nope. In German, it's known as Simsala. Ah, why Simsala? In German, the magical incantation is not Abracadabra Alakazam. It's Abracadabra Simsala Bim. So it would make more sense for the German audience to call it Zimzala rather than Alakazam. Yes, and there's a funny playground rumor that existed in the German fanbase due to the shortening of Zimzala Bim. Since the Bim was left off of Zimzala, the magical phrase Abracadabra Zimzala Bim was incomplete. This made many fans think there was a secret fourth stage evolution named Bim. But of course, that was nothing more than an urban legend and Bim was nothing more than an idea. Well, I guess we can nickname our Mega Alakazams Bim, so when Alakazam Mega evolves, we could just pretend that Mega Alakazam is Bim. I, for my part, will definitely do that. Macholo combines macho and prol. Prol is a derogatory term for an uneducated person who does manual labor. This word derives from proletarian. Machok's German name, Machok, is a combination of macho and shock, the German word for shock. Although Machok's name might seem as if it's an electric type, it's actually a pure fighting type. But it can learn thunder punch. That way you can shock with your Machok. Machomai contains macho, just as we have seen before with its pre-evolved forms. This time combined with Mai, which derives from Meister, the German word for master. Some Germans pronounce this name as macho Mai to make it sound more like macholo, but in this case the first part is actually supposed to be pronounced as macho. That's because if pronounced correctly, Machomai also sounds the same as the old Greek word for I fight, so it contains another pun. Wow, that's pretty awesome. When it comes to puns, the more the merrier, I always say. Knofensa is a combination of knospe, the German word for butt, and fensa may derive from fenchel, meaning fennel. If you've been following the German etymology series since day one, you might remember us covering Knopse before with Bisocknosp. Next up, we have Weepin Bell, which in German is known as Ultrigaria. 
This name derives from Ultricularia, a carnivorous plant species. Its evolved form, Zatzinia, also derives from a pitcher plant species. In this case, it derives from Zaracenia. Thank you, German localization team, for teaching us so much about species of pitcher plants. Tentacha comes from tentakel, the German word for tentacle. And schwa, the German word for weak. And tentoxa has the same tent as before. With toxa from the German word toxisch, the word for toxic. I hope you are all ready to rock, because next we have Kleinstein. This name comes from Klein, the German word for small. And Stein, stone in German. Its name also sounds similar to the physicist Albert Einstein, which may be an intentional reference on the developer's part. Although it's funny to think that they would name a rock Pokemon after a physicist. Perhaps it's because Kleinstein resembles a brain which is symbolic of what Einstein was best known for, his intelligence. Kleinstein does somewhat resemble a floating brain, especially in its Gen 1 sprite design. Geofrock combines geo, the Greek prefix meaning earth, as seen in words such as geography, geology, and neo-geo. The word may also derive from geode, geode. This might come as a shock to you, but that rock at the end means rock. Which is pretty self-explanatory. Unless you're like Kleinstein and have rocks for brains. Moving on to Geofatz. This comes from the same prefix we saw with Geochrock. But this time combined with the word Watz. From the German word Walze, meaning roller. All you Dancing with the Stars enthusiasts out there may be familiar with the waltz a type of dance in three quarters time that involves two dancers embracing one another, rotating their bodies as they glide across the floor. The German name for this dance is Walzer, which is also what we call the Pokemon move Rollout. This is because both of the words Waltz and Walzer have their etymology rooted in the verb Walzen, which means to roll. Although I wouldn't recommend ballroom dancing with Geofots. They weigh around 660 pounds, which is roughly 300 kilograms. That would definitely hurt to have Geovats step on your toes. Youch! Ponita is the same as its Japanese and English name. And instead of explaining what it means here, I'm going to be lazy and link my Japanese etymology series in the eye in the upper right corner of the screen. Rapidash is known as Galoppa, which is nearly the same as its Japanese name. This derives from the word gallop. This name always gets me confused because in German we spell the word gallop as galop with one L and two P. I guess we can fix it by nicknaming it the other way instead. When the translators drop the ball, we can pick it back up again with the help of the wonderful name rater. Slowpoke's name in German is Fleckmon. This combines phlegmatisch, which means calm or relaxed, and the Mon comes from Pokemon or Monster. Oh, that's interesting. Between its English and German name, Slowpoke and Phlegmon, the last two parts can be combined to spell Pokemon. That's true. Cool how that worked out like that. Lamus comes from Lam, which means slow. And Mus is from Musel, a shell. All together, Lamus. Fun bit of trivia, the English word lame derives from the word lam, which is definitely fitting for Lamus's dopey demeanor. How about this for a fun nickname? Lame, bro. I don't know. It's a bit mean for a nickname, if you ask me. I'm sorry, Lamus. I didn't mean to be mean. Magnetilo comes from magnet. And Ilo is the Esperanto word for tool. Dang, we're dipping into Esperanto now too? We truly do see all kinds of languages in these German names. Magneton is the same as its English name and could derive from the word magnet plus on. It could also come from the Bohr magneton or the nuclear magneton. Wait a minute, are, are you telling me this sucker is nuclear? Farfetched is known as Porenta. This combines the word for leak, which is porre, and enta, 
which we already saw before with the other duck Pokemon, Enton and Entoran, but still not related to the legendary beast Entei at all. Dodu is very similar to its English name, but without the final O. It still is made up of the words Dodo and Duo. Dudri's name is nearly identical to its English and Japanese name, but once again with the final O left off. This name is made up of Dodo again, and Dri comes from Drei, which is three in German. Jurup comes from Jung, young, and Robe, seal. Very fitting for this seal pup. Next, we have Yugong, and its name is similar to its Japanese and English name. This comes from the animal species Dugong. My favorite Pokemon, Slima, combines Slime from German Schleim, meaning slime, and Ma from German Matsch, meaning mud. Slima reminds me a lot of Slimer from Ghostbusters, especially considering Slimer's shiny form is green like Slimer. If you catch a shiny Slimer, you should definitely nickname it Slimer. I think I will. Slimuck is a combo of slime, as we've seen before. And Mocke is a colloquial German word for mud or muck. Shelder, aka Mushas, combines Muschel and Fosser, the word for water in German. Funny thing is, we saw the word Muschel used in Lamus. Oh yeah, what a nice connection. Seeing how the shell on Lamus's tail is indeed Muschas. Austos comes from Auster, which means oyster. And the Os is a Greek ending for masculine words. Nibulok comes from the Latin word nebula. Now that I think about it, it does look like a nebula. And the K doesn't seem to have any special meaning, but I'd like to think it's a reference to Orlok, the vampire count from the 1922 German expression film Nosferatu, because of Nibulok's vampire-like fangs. Uh, but uh, that's just a huge guess. That's me stretching. I'm stretching like I'm stretching like Luffy in One Piece. Alpolo derives from Albtraum, meaning nightmare, and the Olo part could either be an allusion to the Greek and Roman god Apollo, or it could derive from Groll, meaning grudge or spite. Gengar in German is Genga, which is the same as its Japanese and English name which comes from the word Doppelgänger. So you're telling me its German name was inspired by its Japanese name, and its Japanese name was inspired by a German word? That's right, we have completely come full circle. Whoa. Onyx is the same as in English, and it comes from the mineral onyx. Traumato is a combo of Traum, dream, which is funny, we just mentioned dreams when we were talking about Alporo, and the second part, Traumatisch, means traumatic. This combines to mean traumatic dream. I guess since Traumato is always eating people's dreams, that would make for a traumatic dream. Hypno is the same as its English name, and it's a shortening of hypnotism. Krabi also remains unchanged from English, and its name combines Krabbe or Crab with the ending E, which, which makes, makes it, it sound, sound cute. cute. Kingler is the same as its Japanese and English name, which derives from King Crab and Fiddler Crab. Sweet, and look at that, we are on the 100th Pokemon name. Voltorb goes by Voltoball in German. This comes from the unit Volt, and the German word Ball, which means ball. Next up we have Elektroball. Elektro from the German prefix Elektro, which means electric. This time it combines Elektro with Ball. I hope you are ready for some more excellent German Pokemon names, because next up we have Ovai. Ovai comes from the Latin word Ovum, which means egg. And the I is the German word for egg. So, egg egg is what the name translates to. The name is also a pun with the expression Ovai, which is an exclamation that expresses sorrow. Moving on to the next set of eggheads, we have Kokovai. 
Kokovai takes the name of its pre-evolution and combines it with Koko. This comes from Kokos, meaning cocoa, or Kokospalme, meaning coconut palm. So maybe they are coconut heads instead of eggheads. Our next Pokemon, Kragoso, combines also, the Italian word for bone, and the beginning part could either refer to tragisch, tragic, or tragen, meaning to carry, which could refer to how Tragoso carries its mother's skull on its head. Speaking of Tragoso's mama, its name in German is Knoga. The first part of this name derives from Knochen, the German word for bone. And we're not quite sure where the G at the end comes from. Your guess is as good as ours. First we were talking about eggs, now we're talking about Knoga. It's Christmas time and now I want some eggnog. Egg and Nog would be a fun team nickname for Ovai and Knoga. Ah, uh, Yuletide team ups, I love it. Next we got the kickboxing and boxing Hitmon duo, Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan. Hitmon Lee's German name, Kick Lee, comes from Kick and Lee, which is a reference to martial artist and movie star Bruce Lee, who was known for his lightning fast kicks. Nog Chan follows a similar naming scheme as Kick Lee. This comes from the English word Nock and Chan from Jackie Chan, the legendary drunken boxer. Slurp simply comes from the English word slurp. Smogon derives from the word smog, which means the same in German as it does in English. And the on comes from the ending of the English word poison. If you ever wonder where the Pokemon site smogon.com got its name from, look no further. Smogmog is nearly the same as smogon with an extra mog, which is probably symbolic of its extra head. Rihon, like its English name, derives from rhinoceros, which means rhino, and horn. Its evolved form, rhinoceros, is a shortening of rhinoceros. Schneider is a combination of three German words. Schoss, meaning opportunity, I, egg, which we also saw in ovai. Man, this day has been full of eggs. And ra, meaning rare. Those three words sum up Shanaira perfectly. When you find one, it's your opportunity to catch a rare egg. Tangela is the same as its English name. This derives from tangle and ella, which is a suffix used commonly in botany. Kangama combines kangaroo and mama. Zepe is a shortened down version of Seepferdchen, which means seahorse. And Zimon is from Zipfjatschen and Monster. Goldini sounds close to its English name Goldin. Goldini comes from Goldfish and Mini. Goldking comes from, once again, Goldfish and King. Staryu's German name is Sterndu, which comes from Stern, Star, and Du, You. So the two words that make up Sterndu are the same two words that make up its English name, but in German instead. Stami is the same as its Japanese name and English name. Mr. Mime is known as Pantimos, from Pantomime and the Greek masculine ending Os. Seems as though they made a similar mistake as the English localization team by making Pantimos' name masculine. Because Mr. Mime and Pantimos names were created in the first generation before the introduction of genders, the creators gave them names more fitting for male-exclusive Pokémon, even though this Pokémon can also be female. Because its Japanese name, Bariado, doesn't have any indication of gender, this error is not present in the Japanese version of the games and only exists in the Western countries. Could you imagine if Mr. Mime was a female exclusive Pokemon? That'd be hilarious. And that would teach those localizers not to jump to conclusions. Now we have Sichlor. This name is a combination of Sichel, Sickle, and Lord. That is a sick, cool name. Rosana comes from the female name Roxana, combined with the Italian word Rossa, meaning red. Electek, Electopus's German name, 
could come from a shortening of elektrotechnik, electrical engineering, or it could be a combination of elektrisch, meaning electric, with the Japanese word Tekken. Fans of Namco's arcade fighting game Tekken may be familiar with this word. The two characters that make up Tekken are Iron and Fist. Tying it all back to Pokémon, Namco did create Popken Tournament, a fighting game similar to Tekken but with Pokémon characters instead. Unfortunately, Electek is not a playable character in this game. Aw, oh, poor Electek. Magma is the same as its English name. This comes from magma. And the mar could either be from the verb to mar or from the Spanish verb fumar, to smoke. Our next Pokémon is the bug you don't want to hug. Pinsier. Pinsier's name derives from Pinsier. And is the same as its English name. Tauros's name derives from Bull, and it's also the same as its English name. Kalpador is a combination of two different species of fish. Kalpfen, carp, and Dorsch, cod. Yarados is called Sodorag in German. Whoops. I think you may have read that name backwards. Whoopsie! You're right! Its name is Garados in German. Which is the same as its English and Japanese name, just without the Y. Next up is the seafaring plesiosaur. Guess what Lapras's German name is? Um, the Ungeheuer? Nope. It's Lapras. Which, which is, is the, the same, same as, as its, its English, English and, and Japanese, Japanese name. name. Get used to us saying that from here on out because the majority of the remaining Kanto Pokémon are all just repeats of the Japanese or English names. So basically the German localization team just copied what was already there, like a ditto. Speaking of ditto... Ditto's name also remains unchanged. This comes from the phrase ditto, which means something like the same as you said before, and derives from Latin dictus. Or in Italian, detto. In German we also use this phrase, but we write and pronounce it slightly differently as dito. Evilly derives from evolution. In English, Evie's name is a palindrome, meaning it could be read the same forward and backwards. But unfortunately in German, it's not. That's true, but I love Evoli is one. Hey, that is, and it's a true statement as well. Aquana is a combo of aqua, the Latin word for water, and the female ending a, which is used for all evolutions, or as we call them in German, evolutionen. Blitza is from blitz, the German word for lightning, with that a sound added to the end. And the final evolution of the first generation, Flamara, is from Flamme or from Latin Flamma, both of which mean flame. Porygon is Porygon, which, which is, is the, the same, same as, as its, its English, English and, and Japanese, Japanese name. name. Ammonite is known as Ammonitas from Ammonit, Ammonite. The as in the end could come from Wasser, the German word for water which we saw before with another Pokémon with a shell, Mushas. Next up we have Amorosa. Amoroso's name uses the Amo we saw before with Amonitas, but this time combines it with the Esperanto word for dew. It is also a pun with the Italian and Spanish adjective Amoroso, which means loving or affectionate. One more thing before we continue. I just want to say I really love the artwork you did for this one, by the way, <laughs> Donata. Uh, this is so adorable, and thanks again for sending me that wonderful picture of the tree trio. Kabuto, in its evolved form Kabutops. The same as their Japanese and English names. Surprise, surprise. Aerodactyl is also the same as its English name, and this derives from aero, meaning air, and pterodactylus, a species of pterosaurs. Relaxo is from the English word relax. Or the Latin relaxo, which means I relax. The first of the legendary birds, Articuno, is Arctos. 
This is from Arktis, meaning Arctic. And Os is the ending for all three of the legendary birds in German. Zapdos's name is the same as it is in English, and it comes from the word zap and dos. Disc operating system. Just kidding, it's from the Spanish word for two. Moltres's German name is Lavados, deriving from lava, again with the ending dos. Dratini might sound familiar to many of you, I mean many of you. This name is the same in German as in English, and it comes from dragon and tiny. Dragonier is nearly identical to its English name with a slight spelling difference. This name comes from dragon and air. Dragonite's German name, Dragoran, is made up of dragon and ran. Ran is probably from the German word randalieren, which means to riot. Well, would you look at that? We're at the end! We did it! We made it to the final two Pokémon! Are you all ready to learn what their names are? Drum roll, please! Mewtwo and Mew. Which are the same as their Japanese and English names. With Mewtwo using the German spelling. And I know, I know, I use the drum roll gag at the end of the Japanese etymology series too. But if they are allowed to recycle names, we should be allowed to recycle jokes. I agree. Well. Thanks for watching everyone! I was happy to collab with Donata on this first series. I had such a blast doing this, I don't want to stop. The same goes for me, I had so much fun working on this series with you Otter, and I was very happy to see that so many people enjoyed watching it. We plan to do more videos together, but I don't want to ruin the surprise by telling you what they are. I guess you'll have to wait and see. See, see you all, all next time! time.